In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us open ourselves to God's mercy to be, renew to be renewed in word and in Eucharist. Lord Jesus, you are the joy of the poor. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are the food for the hungry. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the peace of those who mourn. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. <coughs> A reading from the first letter of St Paul to the Corinthians. About remaining celibate, I have no directions from the Lord, but give my own opinion as one who, by the Lord's mercy, has stayed faithful. Well then, I believe that in these present times of stress, this is right. But it is good for a man to stay as he is. If you are tied to a wife, do not look for freedom. If you are free of a wife, then do not look for one. But if you marry, it is no sin, and it is not a sin for a young girl to get married. They will have their troubles, though, in their married life, and I should like to spare you that. Brothers, this is what I mean. Our time is growing short. Those who have wives should live as though they have none, and those who mourn should live as though they had nothing to mourn for. Those who are enjoying life should live as though there were nothing to laugh about. Those whose life is buying things should live, live as though they had nothing of their own. And those who have to deal with the world should not become engrossed in it. I say this because the world as we know it is passing away. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Listen, O daughter, give ear to my words. Forget your own people and your father's house. So will the king desire your beauty. He is your lord, pay homage to him. The daughter of the king is clothed with splendor, her robes embroidered with pearls set in gold. She is led to the king with her maiden companions. They are escorted amid gladness and joy. They pass within the palace of the king. Son shall be yours in place of your fathers. You will make them princes over all the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. Rejoice and be glad. Your reward will be great in heaven. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. <laughs> Fixing his eyes on the disciples, Jesus said, How happy are you who are poor! Yours is the kingdom of God. Happy you who are hungry now, you shall be satisfied. Happy you who weep now, you shall laugh. Happy are, when, are you when people hate you, drive you out, abuse you, denounce your name as criminal on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice when that day comes and dance for joy, for then your reward will be great in heaven. This was the way their ancestors treated the prophets. But alas for you who are rich, you are having your consolation now. 
Alas for you, who have your fill now, you shall go hungry. Alas for you who laugh now, you shall mourn and weep. Alas for you when the world speaks well of you. This was the way their ancestors treated the false prophets. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, it seems that we're in trouble. Of the seven plus billion people that inhabit this planet, we are among the rich. And the inclination of the rich is firstly to think that we're saved or that we're at least secure. And the second natural inclination might be to think we can save others and make them secure. But Jesus doesn't want us to save the world. In today's Gospel, he's telling us that he wants to save us. And he's saying that if I'm rich, if my life is filled up with so much, then I won't hear and I won't see and I won't encounter him. Alas, he says. I've been working in this precinct for the last seven months and there's a fellow who uh, sells a magazine and I've never introduced myself to him. If I buy his magazine, I may help him. But if I introduce myself to him, then I'm sure he will help me. Luke begins, as Matthew does in his Gospel, with the Beatitudes as Jesus commences his ministry. And Jesus' teaching at the beginning of his ministry is to get us to be attuned to seeing, to hearing and to encountering others. And as we follow him on his mission, which becomes ours, he asks us to peel off the layers of security, of self-sufficiency, as we journey with him to the cross. And by doing so, we will then be blessed. Rich and poor alike, God calls us together as sons and daughters of the kingdom. Let us pray to our Father with sincere hearts. May those who weep know the consolation of Christ, and those persecuted for their faith in Jesus know his courage, so that none of us fall into the trap of indifference to the emotional and spiritual needs of others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May the work of St Peter Claver in devoting his life to the care of African slaves and the abolition of slavery in Colombia in the 17th century strengthen our resolve to shun racism and to oppose all forms of modern slavery. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
May the care of the poor in Paris and the founding of the St Vincent de Paul Society in the 19th century by 20-year-old Blessed Frederick Ozenham deepen our commitment to the struggles of the poor today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May missionaries in remote places who proclaim the kingdom of God from village to village have the physical strength and spiritual wisdom to carry out their ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May the dead and those who mourn them have hope in the resurrection of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, when our life on earth is completed, clothe us in the glory of your holiness through Christ our Lord. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Sisters and brothers, Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands to the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through, the, through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for in goodness you created us, and when we were justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed us through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <coughs>
Mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, God you, take you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life, with the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Whether gathered here in the cathedral or watching on our live stream, wish you every joy for the day ahead. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.